You're listen, man. Shout out to Nano Prodigy for the intro. Of course, I'd not get it for him, but it's just fucking hilarious. I love that. I love, the, I love those intro. Anyways, to get into the video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get full res. Obviously, you can see here, as you can see here, what I'm about to do. Obviously, I have full res, so and I did it all on stream. I'll be showing you how to get full res, and yes, I probably just heard that fucking intro. Alright, so anyway, before I do kind of get into it and explain, let me just say around the pre-requisites. Uh, you do have to be elite grade, so if you're not elite grade, like I said right here, elite grade, you cannot start your progression towards full resurrection, okay? This is going to be kind of a fast video, I'm going to just get through it, tell you how to like actually get it down, you know, run it down. So anyways, first of all, what you're going to do, once you hit elite grade, you're going to be on stage 1, okay? And at stage 1, you have three different methods you can do so method one is the raid method which is get 150 to 180 uh wind raids it could be any place so Soul society wanden or hueco mundo uh it cannot be kt though you cannot do kt but anyways it's 150 to 180 uh wind raids you have to win the raid in any of those three areas it's not kt okay do not do kt raids they will not count but anyways, you can check your progression by going to some NPC, which I will show a picture of. I will show you where he's at, just screenshots. But you can go to him, and he'll tell you, every 35 wins should be 20% progress. If it's 175 raid wins, every 35 will be 20%, okay? And you keep checking them, and you can check them, like, what? For me, it's 100, it was 180 raid wins. So every 36 raids, I'll be at 20%, and so on and so forth. So anyways, so that was method one, 150 raid wins to 180 raid wins. You just check the NPC. You check your progress you can kind of calculate how much you have left um the second method is basically doing pvp you get top 100 for 10 hours i'm pretty sure uh i don't recommend going for it it's extremely hard especially since it's this late since uh, leaderboards have been reset it's been a while so i would just suggest um doing it the raid method uh next method is healing method which is get, I, don't, I don't know how much it is it's a, it's an absurd amount of healing but i'm pretty sure i don't think it's in the game anymore or I'm pretty sure I got taken out as a method, so I wouldn't suggest going the healer route either. The best method is just do raids, and just keep server hopping raids. Every do red and blue servers, okay? Just server hop raids and keep winning, keep going. If you're a soul reaper, go to um. If you're a soul reaper, go to Hueco Mundo. If you're a Quincy, go to Soul Society, and if you're a Ronkar, go to Wanden Rich. You will get those the easy ways to win raids. Anyways. Now, after you get 150 to 180 raid, raid wins, however much you need, and you'll be on stage 2. Now, stage 2 is a bit hard, okay? First of all, you need 150 hollow kills, and then you need to kill 3 bottle bosses. 3 to 5. For me, it was 3. But I'm pretty sure it's 3 to 5. Do 3, check, okay? Or I would just do 3 and then check the book or whatever. Whatever it is for you. But anyways, my bad getting off track. But 3 to 5 bottle boss kills, which is the boss that spawns on Hueco Mundo. And then it's 40 to 60 ranked grips. So the person has to be elite grade and they have to be opposing faction. You can do the same person 40 times. Uh, I would suggest doing it last because it is the hardest. So I would suggest doing that last. And you have to do this without dying. So you have to get 150 hollow kills, um, 3 to 5 bottle kills. I'm pretty sure it's, it's 3. So go 3 bottle boss kills and then 40 ranked grips, 40 elite grade grips without dying. So make sure you have a, some friends helping you out. And it has to be opposing faction. And you have to do this without dying. If you die, you have to reset stage 2. But anyways, um, you can check your stage 2 progress if it's done. For a wrong cards, it's, it's a book at the castle. For um, Soul Reapers, I'm not sure. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, Soul Reapers and Quincy's. I don't know how it is for you. But I know for a wrong cards, it's checking with the book at the castle. Some book at castle, which I'll probably put a screenshot up above. Um, anyways, so after you've done stage 2... Um, you'll be at stage 3. Now stage 3, if you're in a wrong car, it's going to Las Noches, the underground area where the middle spawns, going to a cave, and then sitting in, sitting in front of a sword, meditate for 10 minutes, and then do the maze. You have to find your own hollow, and it's a 2 in 30 chance. And if you want to retry, it, you get 2 grips, go back in there, another 10 minutes of meditation, do the same thing. It takes forever, man. But... Anyways, for Soul Reapers, um, stage 3, well, for, for Soul Reapers is a little weird, because you have, like, stage 2.5. After you complete stage 2, you have to talk to Urahara, and you have to find your Zanpakuto. You get 3 tries, and each time you miss up, you get a, you get a, a hint at where your Zanpakuto is. After you find it, then you meditate, and you can fight your Bankai. And that's how you get it. You find your Bankai, you get Bankai. For Volt Standing, you have to parry for, like, 1.5 minutes, um, beams from the sky. And make sure as soon as you go into the place from talking to the NPC, 
Uh, you can search that up. I don't. I'm not gonna go to Wanda just to show it, but um, you can pretty much search it up, and you'll you'll see the NPC. It's pretty obvious what NPC it is, but you go into the it'll TP you somewhere, and as soon as you get TP'd, it says "Shall we begin?" or some shit like that. It might even give you text. You gotta look up and start parrying, or you run at first speed, run around, dodge the arrows of light, or parry them. That is how you do it. And there you go. That was like five minutes on how to get. Um, I don't know. It, it, it might take a bit to uh to explain. But I will put up screenshots of everything too. So don't worry. If you're a little confused, if I went a little too fast, I will put up screenshots of like details, step by step details. So it's okay. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Join my Discord down below as well. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I will do my best to answer every single question I can. So if you do have questions, like I just said, I will answer them. But anyways, that's me in the video. Hope you did, uh, did enjoy that. I know I went a little fast, but I'm just trying to like not waste your time you know just so you can get to it but that is the, the the complete guide the actual guide on how to get uh full resurrection bolt standing or bankai uh hopefully you enjoyed you know like and subscribe join my discord we need that we need to get it popping and i seen the video goodbye